you spilled my beer. Prepare to die. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome wow. back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Ups and down. Yeah, whatever. Gonna, tonight we're going to take a look at a beer from Cannery. Cannery Brewing Company in Penticton, B.C. And this has got a nice clean looking black label. This is Stumbling Goat. Dry hopped Maybach. Strong beer. No shit. Uh, 6.5% ABV. That's not super strong. Uh, 40 IBUs. This is in Germany. My box are traditionally consumed in the lusty month of May. Uh, a week too late. Uh, this uh, strong dry hop in my box is full body German style lager created with classic German malts and noble hops. It is a malt forward beer with surprisingly hop com with a surprising hop complexity. Uh, artisan creator, artisan creation, the design and illustration by Myron Campbell, not so simpleton .com. That must be the guy who designed the label, which is actually a really cool label, although I can see Albino Rhino having a hard time looking at this. Um, the contrast is like terrible. I mean, you really have to hold it up to the light to be able to see anything on it. If you're under standing viewing conditions, this label looks almost completely black. Mm. Anyway, uh, the male mountain goat, or Bach, is a symbol of strength and balance. We created this beer to reflect the same qualities. But please take the warning. Uh, take take warning. This beer has the drinkability and strength to make even the sturdiest goat stumble. Naturally brewed in Penticton, BC. Yeah, small brewery, big flavor. Now I've had, I can't remember. I think I've had Cannery's IPA, and I think I've had one other. And uh, they brought this in in NB liquor stores. I think just I think they brought these in just after I got home from like mid May, just after I got home from from uh, uh, Chad's place uh, for the Albino Road Beer Fest, and this um, they got this one and some other one. I think it was a Nut Brown. Of course, this one seemed more interesting, but the big downside with this and the reason why I didn't pick them all up is because this sucker cost me fucking eight dollars, which to some might not seem like a big deal. It's, to me, it's like. Wow, man! You could you brought all like you brought they brought in like fifteen different new beers, but all of them were over five bucks a bottle. So it's like I mean, Soda City selling cans for uh, just like cans, like just cans for five bucks. Or to, I think that was a Princess World. Where's your old pants? Showed up for like seven. It's getting a little ridiculous. So got to choose. Got to be choosy, and I'm only buying one now to review rather than buying one and then to drink and then save one to review and then. I guess this is probably better this way because I'd buy two and then not drink the other because I gotta review it and not get around to the review. I digress. Anyway, drink the drink the stupid beer. I get it. I hear you. Jeez, leave me alone. Hmm. Well, yeah. Usually my box are light like that. I don't know how clear that is. Very. Deep, rich. Well, not, not rich, but a very big, brassy color. Eh. Holding it up underneath the light against my white wall over here. Slightly off white head. Um, very golden, brassy kind of look to it. Maybe slightly orange in the middle. Head's dissipating a little, though. And uh, I got that on my Stella glass, but mm, there's like half the bottle is still full. So let's give it a whiff. Hmm. Mildly sweet, touch of citrus, but mostly this kind of like rose petal or peach. Maybe a touch of hibiscus. As the hop, as the head fades, I'm getting a bit more uh, more of the citrus notes. Sounds almost like a Belgian ale, Belgian ale or, a, or a, a fruit fruit beverage. It's mild, like the smell is mild, but it's there, and it's it, you get kind of almost this like Belgian, um, like skin of a peach, or uh, not not so much a peach, like uh, a bit yeasty, like the like skin of a berry, but not berry flavored sure where I'm going with this. Starting to get more of a tannic note. Hmm. 
You know what? That's, that's actually quite interesting. Uh, it's not what I was expecting from a Maybach, but... Can't complain. It smells good. Down the hatch. Cheers. Mmm. Ooh. It's very smooth. It's seemingly creamy. Again, that... That yeasty... It's almost like got this sour yeast like Brett's. Fading into like a a mildly raisin caramel. Maybe not even so much caramel, but more like like raisin. Finishing off with like a, a subtly tart. Actually, it's not really that, that tart. It's more sour. And it's sour in the same kind of way as a beer that's made with Brett's is. Almost a bit of like that barnyard funk. Certainly unique. And it's creamy. And also has a, not thin so much as it's, it doesn't have a thick body. It's, it, it gives me, it reminds me, it's a, it's a heavy, it's a dark lager, it's a heavy lager, it's not a dark lager. It's a heavy lager, but it actually has that lager body for something of the style of the body. I think, I, I think they got the style of Bach down, like uh, the mouthfeel of Bach down pat. And it's almost like, if Belgium did a did a, a Maybach. The flavor profile really reminds me of like a like a Belgian like a Belgian uh, pale ale, but it uh, has a much mildly sweet but heavier body in the back that's not too thick. I find myself struggling to put a, a finger on it, but what I do know is that this is actually quite good. Yeah, it's 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 totally not what I was expecting. Um, does it actually say it's a lager? Yeah, it is. German style lager. German malts, noble hops. I'm not really getting noble hops. There is definitely an earthy, uh, earthy note that lingers in the back of the throat after everything's gone. But I like how they got it almost almost sour. And I don't mean like, like tart, sour, candy, citric acid kind of sour. It's sour in the same way that you would, like a, a quality Belgian beer would be, a Belgian pale ale would be. Ugh. It really reminds me of like the finish on Orval. Except for that one's more... Cassie. Um, I wouldn't call this one, like, spicy. <sighs> I think I better finish this up. <clears throat> hmm. I like it. Um, it's quite unique, um, but I would say that this blows the doors off of, like, Rogue Dead Guy. Yeah, this is actually quite good. I would recommend anybody try this. Um, I'm going to give that... Uh, I give a four two five out of five. I actually really, really enjoy that. That is nice. It's not so much that it's clean, but I just think the body wise, it's spot on, and the flavor wise, it's actually really quite unique. And it's still Bach, but it's almost like this Belgian Brett kind of twist on it that is unique and makes me wish I could have justified buying more of these. So um, I, w I wouldn't say that this is probably one that you want to age. This is probably one you want to drink. Um, in good time, but uh, I gotta say kudos to uh, Cannery for making that delicious Bach. That's really good. So that's Stumbling Goat from Cannery Brewing. 4.25 out of 5. Anyway, thanks for watching Maxwell Stairs Beer Reviews. We will talk to you folks later. Cheers.